on shit at the game, these are the levels that really shit me off. To clarify, I'm talking about proper levels or stages in a game. Missions or quests in open world games do not count, as well as race tracks or levels that are just a boss fight. Because that's a boss fight. This is a level, this is not. Let's begin. Rapid Cortex is quite the little bowl of garbage. And while plenty of people enjoy this game, I don't. The final walkthrough of this game contains a level known as Gold Rush. It's a western theme level where you walk for miles, get in a shitty vehicle, oh, in case you didn't know, that's what this game does best. Walk for more eternities only to find a heap of monkey bar bullshit. This is such a long level and I suck at it. That's why trying to get a time relic is the most fun I've ever had. I'm kidding. Potatoes. Yourself. May 14th, 1988. Do you know a great underwater level that isn't from a Donkey Kong Country game? Because I can't. Seashell Shenanigans and Coral Canyon are two of the worst underwater levels I've ever played. They're long, slow, boring, and enemies fly out of nowhere to wreck your shit. But if that wasn't enough, we also get dumb vehicles to deal with. While these levels aren't all that hard, the difficulty soon spikes when you've got to clock up your ass. These two levels in Gold Rush were the bane of my existence when trying to complete this game 100%. Never again would I even consider it. Twenty one, 29th week of 1993. Well, this is what I'm talking about. Hollow Bastion is a level late into the story of the first Kingdom Hearts game. It's a giant castle with a library, a dungeon, and about 300 stories of complete and utter chaos. First time playing through, I proceeded to make my way through the dungeon solving puzzles, only to reach a point where I couldn't continue. I'm done. Backtracking through and figuring out where I had to go made me realise the task I had ahead of me. The amount of combat is just ridiculous. I know this is an RPG thing, but come on. Is there any part of this cast that isn't crawling with heartless? And don't even get me started on fighting three bosses in a row, only to walk back down the entire fucking castle. Twenty fifth week of nineteen ninety one. Infograms make good shit. Hogs of War, Demolition Racer, and a plethora of Looney Tunes games. Sheepdog and Wolf, known as Sheep Raider, is no exception to this fact. Except for this level. Level six is a snow level. That's fine. It contains a few puzzles. That's fine. You have to dress up as a sheep and hope that Sam Sheepdog doesn't have his way with you. Not fine. The idea of this game is to steal a sheep and place it on the goal. This level requires you to lure a sheep away without being noticed. It turns out, however, that this dog is trained in military levels of dog shit, so it's almost impossible. When you finally do get away, then you need to make your way through a mod 32nd week of 2003. with a fucking sheep. And once you've done that, another puzzle. That sucks. Not fine. Not now we're getting to the good stuff. Speaking of Donkey Kong Country, these games are hard, but that is mainly because I suck at them. Donkey There's Kong white screen death printings. And yes, well, I did I check the closing of this tape, and this tape does have the white screen death at the end. I haven't played them. And this is my opinion, my opinion is so shush. Red Hot Ride sees Willie and Dixie float across lava, avoiding bees and all sorts of other stuff. The balloon gradually falls, and you need to move over these air plumes to get it back up. I hate this level. You don't have a lot of control. Red tape! To mess up. And it's a Canadian Look, copy. Game Capture hates this level. The best part is getting past, having the game crash, and losing all of my progress, which requires me to beat this level again. Spyro 
into the dragonfly. I'm not going to play the clip. I'm not. It's for your own good. This game is... Oh, no. What have I done? While this game is 90% shovelware and 10% fuck off, or oh, wait, is that the other way around? It did have some pretty neat levels, such as the Thieves' Den. Cloud9, on the other hand, is 